All right, UH Nation, I'm here with uh, Kevin Chase. How are you doing tonight, sir? I'm uh, doing okay on a, a little bit of a losing spell from my last two teams. Three in a row, not happy. Three in a row is not good, but you know, it, playoffs start tomorrow. So yep. uh, how, how are you feeling about it? Uh, feeling pretty good. Um, we got some things we're going to clean up on both teams. Uh, Callahan, I got a good feel for what we're doing. Uh, blue Chips, we'll get Josh back. We should, we should be playing a lot better than we did tonight. Okay, Ultimate Hoops hot seat. Um, We'll ask, I'll ask you ten questions, and okay. as actually, I'll ask you as many as, as you I can feel, get out. Feel yeah. like get out. <laughs> Answer as quickly as you can. Don't think too much. Okay. Okay. Favorite sound on the basketball court is what? Blocking a ball off the backboard. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Uh, I, I'll bet you that Mike Franklin's favorite sound as well, because he does that too. He does. Yes. You and him, good at that. So, uh, favorite NBA jerseys of all time are what? Ooh, ooh, okay. Wow, okay, this is this is a tough one. Um, I did like the early Indiana Pacers in the 90s with that yellow diagonal cut through. That was, they were ugly, but they were ugly good. Uh, definitely not Vancouver Grizzlies when they had big country because those are terrible. Um, I mean, the classics for me, Bulls, Pistons, I mean, the old school Pistons. Clean. Clean, legitimate. I mean, the Knicks still had that too, but the only person on the Knicks I liked was Patrick Ewing, so. Um, favorite UH jerseys, other than Callahan? You know, Callahan's going to be awesome if I can finally follow through and get the, the warm-ups with Tommy Boy's face on the back. Um, but my, um, you know what? I do like the mustache classic ones. Those are nice. The, the darks, not the lights, the darks. It's a good, an it's good answer. It's a good but, answer. But um, I will say uh, the Rebels' new ones, I, they're, they're good. Okay. Um, now, don't think too much about this one. This one always trips people up. Okay. Most overrated player in Ultimate Hoops. Most overrated player in Ultimate Hoops. I, they just played right now, uh, Devin Stenzer. Most underrated player. Most underrated player in uh, Ultimate Hoops. Man, there's a lot of guys I can put into that. Um, man, that's a tough question. There's a lot. Uh, Jordan Jensen on them. You're going to use the same team. I think he's really underutilized in that team. I think if you put him on a lot of other squads, kill You win the lottery tonight, Powerball. What's the first thing you do? Buy a nice house on a lake and get a really expensive car, which would be my only stupid expense, and take care of my family, and then probably take my guys out of my teams. Uh, uh, NBA Finals winner in how many games? I really want to see the Spurs in six or seven. Um, it all depends on Tony Parker. If he's not healthy, it's the Heat in six. Where is LeBron James playing in two seasons? Not in Miami. Where is Kevin Love playing next year? Definitely not here. Hopefully not in Cleveland because he'll leave there too. <laughs> oh, but Cleveland, that'd be a good trade for the Timberwolves. It'd be a Timberwolves great pick. trade for the Timberwolves. Kevin Love will be, he'll probably like punch his hand into a wall again and break his hand. Is that what he did the first time? I'm not saying sources, but I know what happened on that. <laughs> Ooh, I think that sounds like another, another, another hot seat question. Do you know what happened to Kevin Love when he uh, broke his hand? Yeah, so he will we'll probably find a way to get hurt again and if that happened to Cleveland and, get, and duck out of there. Granted, Kyrie Irving would be a heck of a lot better point guard for him, so who knows? They may end up actually making the playoffs. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Appreciate it.